Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. Today's video, you already read the title, right? I generated a software testing book with OpenAI. Yes, I had this crazy idea a couple of days ago um, <clears throat> when I saw all the news out there about OpenAI and ChatGPT and, you know, like you can do so many crazy things and, um, yeah. I had the idea of like, hmm, why not generating a software testing book? Is this actually possible and how long it would take me to actually generate the book? For those of you who know that, I, um, I mean, I wrote a couple of books, right? I mean, as you can see here, I wrote like, this is the main one, hands-on mobile app testing. It got, uh, it's available in German. There's the second edition. And I spent lots of time uh, writing books uh, in, in my past years and it's it's a long process it's an exhausting process um so for example for um for the uh, hands-on mobile app testing so this book it has how many pages it has uh, above 200 um, i wrote more than one year every day i wrote more than one year to finish the book you know to do some research and to talk to people get feedback rework the chapters and so forth and so forth and now that we have open ai and all those crazy ai technologies out there I asked myself like, hey, what does it mean maybe for publishers, for authors? Is this really something that can wipe out these positions or these jobs basically? And um, so I did basically an experiment, yeah? So, and uh, I, long story short, I generated a software testing book and you can also read it and you can download it and make yourself um, um, a view what um, OpenAI has been uh, generated with it. So, and without further ado, um, I will guide you now through the steps that I've done in order to generate the uh, software testing book, basically. So let's hand over to the ChatGPT interface. So as you can see here, um, a couple of days ago, I asked ChatGPT like, hey, please write a book outline about software testing. And then a couple of seconds later, there was the title, a comprehensive guide to software testing from basics to advanced techniques. And then the chatbot or like the, the OpenAI technology was giving me the chapters. So chapter one, introduction to software testing, software testing process, so forth and so forth. So you can see a lot of chapters have been suggested to me. It's like, okay, interesting. So what I have done is basically I copy pasted the, the title into a document, a text file document, and every bullet point that you can see here um, I asked ChatGPT to write basically the definition of software testing, to write about the importance of uh, software testing, the types, the goals, and so forth and so forth. Yeah, and um, I, I left out some of the, the, the chapters because I think maybe this is like too, too, too many things uh, that, that, that have to be covered. And also, um, since this is like a manual process, I was also a bit lazy, so I skipped some of the ones um, over here. But uh, what I have done is I basically, as I said, just said, I asked like all the questions here. And if we also take a look here on the on the right hand side at the cursor, you can basically see the complete output of of the of the content, basically. Yeah. So let's dive into maybe one of the first things. So I, I asked like ChatGPT, um, like, hey, write about test planning as easy as it gets. And then this was the output. Yeah. So there's like a lot of stuff. Usually there's like a pattern that you can see when you use OpenAI. Basically you always get like an introduction sentence or two, and then you get some, some key components, some facts, and then some bullet points or some numbers. And then in the end it always do like a little summary. But for some, some sections, I, uh, I rephrased my question and I also asked like, can you give some more detailed report? of or like a report um, a detailed detailed information about this specific chapter so i've done that as well and yeah so um and the crazy thing is um that the whole generation of like asking the questions uh, regarding to chat gpt took me let's say i don't know including copy paste to a document and to style the document it took me i think three hours or something was a really plain stupid work maybe you could also do a script for that uh, in between i had some some timeouts because i was using um, chat gpt too often within that time frame so i had to wait a bit and to do some structuring in the word document again but it's amazing to see what you can actually do within a couple of hours and you you can generate a software testing book or you can generate any book that that you would like to talk about basically or you would like to write about and i think that's crazy 
good and crazy bad at the same time because this is like a usual um, uh, not the usual but uh, it's it's a big big problem for publishers right so you whenever you have authors you don't know if this person really has written the book or if there are some chapters being like generated by an AI technology and um, also if you check online or you search for like um, open AI books um, I did that afterwards because I asked myself, hey like Maybe you should ask some some search engines if there are other books out there. And it's amazing. People do a lot of stuff now with OpenAI and generating books, and also they sell them on Amazon. And actually, they make quite a good income out based on that. And some of them they use it also to write novels or kids books with really uh, AI generated visuals and stuff like that. So it's crazy. The opportunities are endless. But I would say, from my point of view, as as long as you uh, mark it on the on the book cover or some somewhere in the book that this was a generated text, it would be okay. Yeah. Um, but what I noticed while doing this generation process and copy pasting stuff over is, um, it, it's lacking details. Yeah. So I generated a book with uh, ChatGPT three uh, three point five. Soon there will be ChatGPT four. Maybe then this is a complete different level um, of things. But um, yeah, this is basically what I have seen here, and also what I've just mentioned is, I mean, looking at my book, I mean, no, no, no cheesy advertisement here, but um, I really did a lot of research and 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 deep dive and talking to people and um, putting a lot of effort into it. Maybe you can do the same thing with OpenAI or ChatGPT uh, if you ask more detailed and specific questions. So, for example, write about test execution. You could also ask in 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 a sub section of that chapter, like the pro of uh, test execution or the, the cons of test execution. So, um, so if you would really like to dig into more detailed book uh, or in general text, you have to, to ask different questions and maybe also to make your mind up around the outline, what should be in there, um, what are pros, cons, what are typical to-dos uh, and, stuff, and stuff like that. So you, you could actually go even further than what I have done basically. Yeah. And yeah, without further ado, let's take a quick look at the book. <clears throat> um, for you to, to mention or for you to keep in mind, um, my, it was never my intent to make any money with that book, right? So it, I just did it as an experiment. Uh, I will never uh, put it on sale. However, what I've done is I put it onto LeanPub, just like to, you know, to, to have a, the, the feeling of a real book, a real book, an ebook, basically. So what I've done here is I uploaded the PDF that I generated to LeanPub. And as you can see, it's free uh, with, with, with or without membership, that doesn't matter. And the suggested or the minimum paid price here is something that is by default by LeanPub. So you don't have to pay me anything for that. I don't want the money. Um, so you can just say zero dollars and then you can just download the book and, and find out everything about it. And even I, I made it clear here that this is an experiment. It was generated. Um, with OpenAI. It's also there's a disclaimer inside the book so we can quickly take a look. So uh, that's basically the cover. I was too lazy to find another OpenAI tool for generating the book cover. So I just did it myself really quickly. And uh, here's the disclaimer saying, okay, this book is an experiment generated by ChatGPT. Uh, never intend to make any revenue. That's really important from my perspective. I just would like to show you what you can do with, with the technology at the moment. So if you're a creative, and you can do things around that technology, it might be beneficial for you. Maybe you can do some income and some, some, some sidekicks and stuff. So, and then in the end, uh, the book is uh, 45 pages long. As you can see here, there's this chapter, the definition, uh, the ty types of testing. So it's a lot of stuff in here. So we can just browse through it. So it's plain text, usually bullet points and, and numbers. As I already said, um, it usually has the, the, the same pattern. Yeah, it's introduction, some bullets and an outro text. So this is something that I don't like about the ChatGPT stuff. So it it you really have like a, um, the same pattern all the time. So you can identify that this is not something that I have written or something maybe that the person hasn't done. But as I said, if you go more deeper in terms of asking your questions in a different way and asking more specifically, and maybe with ChatGPT4, it's a complete different story. Um, let me know if you have generated your own software testing book with ChatGPT4. Maybe I try uh, it another time with, with that version to see what's, what's coming out of it, asking the exact same questions. Maybe this is something that I can do in the, f in, in, in the near future. So yeah, it's, 
it's complete book here so basically everything is in there um, I, I haven't read all of it yeah another disclaimer so I just copy paste it over for an experiment but I did some cross reading of the sections and what I can say is it's a good starting point for people who would like to be uh, in the software testing industry maybe who are a career changer who would like to give to get a complete overview about software testing so what is important on this 45 um, DNA 4 of the DNA 4 pages um, yeah to get an introduction of, of software testing but that's it it's nothing more than that yeah um, but <clears throat> please go ahead and go to the lean pub URL it's in the video description to to um, browse through the book and let me know what you think about the experiment what do you think about the com uh, the content the structure of it and um, what do you think like is this something that is you know, like influencing the publishing industry or is also influencing us as a software testing community in terms of um, writing call for papers for example maybe that's another, another experiment that i can do is i ask uh, ChatGPT to write a conference paper and i submit the paper how about that what do you think should i do it and then once i am at the conference and tell like like saying the audience hey look thanks to ChatGPT, <laughs> I made it to that conference, could also be something, right? Because conference papers tend to be like not too long and um, why not? So it will definitely have an impact to most of the uh, industries that I've, uh, that I've seen and that I'm out there. And, um, but on the other side, I see it also as a really benefit and a great tool that we can use as an addition to yeah, to generate new testing ideas, to come up with a weird experience uh, experiment when generating a software testing book. Um, however, my, 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 my resume or my summary would be like, it, what I've seen is it will never replace an author writing a, a great book on, on a specific topic because there's so many things inside, so many valuable insights from the, uh, the leading experts out there on that specific topic and um, but definitely maybe it helps you as an author or as an as a blogger to actually generate some testing ideas and also to help you to maybe to structure things sometimes we also have this you know we have this barrier in our minds like oh i don't know how to start and and then you ask the ai and say like, hey look at this tick, 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 three points and then oh yeah that's a good point let's go ahead and then i take my own words my own uh, style of writing and put it together and uh, yeah share it with the community so yeah, that that was my experiment. I'm really looking forward to your comments uh, on the on the on the book. Uh, go ahead to LeanPub, uh, download it from there. If you have any trouble with downloading, I can also upload it to my to my blog. Um, again, thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, a subscription. Uh, also, let me know what you think about it. Maybe I should do another experiment. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you and bye bye.